Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll share with you 8 vegan and vegetarian protein sources. They will be all natural protein sources, there won't be any agrarian options, as well as there won't be any supplements included. I will also share protein per 100 gram for each protein source, as well as the carb and fat content. For those who are on fat loss or cutting phase, I'll also share the calories per 100 gram of each protein source. The first one I'm going to share is soya chunks. Soya chunks is easily available in India. They are also available in granule form. But if you are in Western countries, you might have to look into online shops or whole food shops as well as eBay or Amazon. I will leave the link in the description box for you guys. You can find them in granule forms, which means the nutrition is same. These have all the amino acids, which makes them a complete protein source. They are low in GI, which makes it suitable for diabetics and insulin-resistant patients. Then comes the legumes and lentils, such as red lentil, yellow lentil, brown lentils, any type of dals or legumes that we normally use. They are very high in protein, high in fiber, and very filling as well. As well as kidney beans and chickpeas are another high protein sources. Next comes Kala Chana, which is black chickpeas, as well as garbanzo beans, which are also called um, Kabuli Chana or white normal chickpeas. They both are high in proteins, but garbanzo beans are very versatile. You can add them in many dishes, such as curries or salads or any type of dish that you have. You can even a stir fries, you can add the garbanzo beans. Paneer and cottage cheese is another high protein source, which is made with milk. They are again easily available in the market and are high in calcium and vitamin A. However, they also have a lot of fat. If you are following keto diet, then it could be a good option for you. If you are suffering from hormonal imbalances or any type of uh, hormonal issues such as PCOS or PCOD, then I would advise you to stay away from all the milk or dairy products. Instead, you can use tofu. You can choose tofu over paneer and incorporate in any of the paneer dishes. Then comes tofu, which is an excellent source of vegan plant-based protein source. It contains all of the amino acids, which makes it a complete protein source. Then comes peas. We call it mutter in Hindi. They actually come from legumes or lentil family. However, we consider it as a vegetable. They contain 30% of protein as well as little bit of fat therefore they can be used as a main combination of main protein source i know i said i'll be sharing eight vegan or vegetarian options but i just came in my mind that peanuts are another great protein source however if you have a nut allergy then you must stay away from peanuts so guys i hope you like this video do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family and do subscribe my channel for more videos I'll be sharing lots of diet meal plans and what I eat in a day kind of videos very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.